Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Today we have three figures, three brand new figures to add to our collection. Right here we have a boxer. I think this is a new wolf and a new sheep right here. All of these figures were sent to us by a Dan Safari. Okay, so let's begin. All right, guys, let's take a look at this new sheep right here. And this is actually known as a ram. Very nice, a new ram figure. We don't have many rams in our collection, in our farm animals collection, so this is definitely a fantastic addition to our collection. Just want to say a huge thank you to the Dan Safari who has sent this figure to ours. Very cool, I really love this. This is a beautiful ram from Schleich. If I'm not wrong, this should be a one of the latest figures, if I'm not wrong. It's from 2021. Beautiful Ram figure. I'm gonna put this one right over here. Next up, let's take a look at this. What is this? It looks like a wolf. Let's have a look at the name below. It's from Schleck, so it doesn't have any name. So, but I suppose this is a wolf. Beautiful figure. And here we have a boxer. This is also from Schleck, if I'm not wrong. So this will go into our farm animals, dogs and cats collection, which we are going to put all of our figures into this box right here, okay? So at the same time, let's take a look at other figures from this box. I want to find all the different wolves that we have and do a comparison. Is this a wolf? Nope, it's not. This is basically a coyote. Very beautiful figure. Let's try to find more wolves. I think we should have a couple of wolves in our figure. What about this one? Yeah, this is definitely a wolf. It could be an arctic wolf as well. If you do a comparison in terms of the colors, they are quite different. This, it's very white and light grayish. So it's a beautiful wolf. Let's see whether we are able to find more wolves. Here's another one. This is cool. This also looks very cool, slightly darker in color. This. I don't have the name for this, but it could be a timber wolf. Yep, could be. This was definitely a wolf, I think. So we do have a small collection of wolf's figure. It is starting to grow. As you can see, here's another one. This is a timber wolf from Collecte. So let's see. Let's see how many wolves we actually have. So one, two, three, four. Are there more? Could be. I'm not sure. We will take a look later on. Here we have an arctic fox. It looks like a wolf from far, but it's not. Okay, so this one will go into the right box. The right box is basically where I put all the mix, the mixture of different animals. Let's take a look at some of the um, dogs that we have in our collection. What do we have right here? A beautiful golden retriever. This figure is actually from Safari LTD. I love golden retrievers. I think they are wonderful, gentle, very sweet-natured dogs. And here we have a German Shepherd. It seems to be a puppy. Very adorable. They are extremely intelligent and extremely loyal. And speaking of intelligent, this is a Border Collie. They are actually known as the number one most intelligent dogs. They are extremely intelligent. They love to hurt sheep. Okay, next, let's take a look at some farm animals with a Hungarian pig, well known for its curly hair. Oh yes, here's another one. Okay, this is not a wolf. This is a Siberian husky. Okay, nice. And this one, I think this is an alpaca, if I'm not wrong. Is this a llama? Most likely an alpaca. Okay, let's take a look at a number two, rank number two most intelligent dogs out there. This is the poodle. They are also very, very intelligent. Next, we have a Sharpe, well known for their crumpet skin. Very, very cute. And here, we have an elephant. You might be wondering, why am I putting the elephant in the wild animals box and not the African animals box? Because this is an Asian elephant. They are slightly different from the African animals. Okay, next we have a llama right here that has a longer face. Next, red panda. This was a figure sent to us by a dancer foreign as well. A beautiful red panda. 
from Safari LTD. Next, we take a look at some of the other dogs that are in our collection. We have a small little Dalmatian right here. A beautiful cow. What kind of cow is this? Um, it could be a Hoyston cow. I'm not exactly sure. Let's take a look at this. This is actually a Frisian call, so it could be a Frisian call as well. Yeah, I think so. I think this should be a Frisian call. We have a Hoyston call. Let's let me try to find it. Yep, this is the Hoyston call. If you take a look at this, it is written right below Hoyston call. So, um, yeah, they they definitely look very very similar. So, yep, but I'm not exactly sure. You know, yep, this one should be a Hoyston call as well. Next, we have a nanny goat. This is quite a big figure. We'll take a look at some of the birds in our collection, in the farm animals collection. And this one seems to be a goose. Or oh, is it a swan? It looks more like a swan. Okay, next, we have a collie. Another really beautiful species of dogs. Really, really adorable. Next, we have a rhinoceros. This is not an Indian rhinoceros. This it's I mean this is not an African rhinoceros. It is an Indian rhinoceros. You can easily recognize it by its crumpled skin on its body. This is a really beautiful one. Next, we have a camel. This is a beautiful camel, Bactrian camel. That's two homes that are used to store food and water. And here we have a different camel right here. This is not a Bactrian camel and you can see it only has one hump. Next, I'll take a look. Let's take a look at one of my favorite animals, the pangolin. They are able to curl themselves into a protective ball. They can be found in Southeast Asia countries. And here we have another one, which is very cute and adorable. Okay. Next, we'll take a look at this. This is a billy goat. Beautiful one from Safari LTD. Very well detailed, the figure. It's beautifully crafted. Buffalo. Okay, you can actually find them. These are actually Chinese buff buffaloes. They are used to work in the fields. And this is a black sheep, beautiful black sheep, Baba black sheep. You, you guys know the nursery rhyme Baba black sheep has actually lost for over 100 years. Here's another one. Next, we we'll take a look at some cats right here. They definitely look identical in terms of the sculpt, so they are both. Tabby cats, I suppose. Grey tabby, one orange tabby. Donkey. Very nice. And here we have a sheep. This is figure is from a shlike, you can see. They have detailed the fur very, very nicely. Very intricate detailing done on the figure. Tapir. Next, we we'll take a look at tapir. We have a couple of tapirs in our collection. So this is one of them from Collecte. This one is actually from an unknown brand. We should have a couple more. Here's another one. This one was added to our collection recently. Also sent to us. Also contributed by another Dan Safarian. Beautiful. We have one more. We should have a few more tappers. Sometimes it's hard for me to find them like on the spot. So uh, there should be another one. There should be a black and white tapper. Oh, it's right here, guys. Yeah, it looks like a panda. The colors look like a panda. So we have four tappers in our collection. They are slowly growing. Slowly but surely. Okay, just now I've actually shown you guys the Indian rhinoceros. You guys know that there are actually a lot more different species out there. This is a Sumatran rhino. So, diff so it also has different... As you can see, it has fur on its body. So they are very, very different. And we also have a pygmy hippo right here. This is actually from Collecte. And this is a pygmy hippo calf. So as you can see, we do have a small collection of non-African hippopotamus. They're slowly growing as well. Armadillo, beautiful armadillo, an armored animal, beautiful one. And here we have a cow, okay, a beautiful cow. Next, we have a Great Dane. This is a huge species of dog, very huge, they are very tall, extremely intelligent, extremely loyal as well. We have a nanny goat from Schleich, very beautiful figure. We have a French 
bulldog. They're very adorable. And here we have a squirrel. A nice little squirrel right here. A cow. I can't remember the name of this cow, so let's take a look. Here Fort Cow, right here. Beautiful, you can see. It has this very unique fold of skin right over here. Okay, next, what do we have? This is a goose. A very beautiful, I think it's not a goose, it's a gander. A gander. Beautiful, beautiful figure. We have a hen and a couple of chicks. Rabbit. Yep, this is a rabbit. They basically call it rabbit, okay? Let's see what else we've got. Okay, this one is a super adorable one. Perhaps one of our cutest one in our collection. The Pot Ballad Pig from Shrike. Okay, let's see. Get some wild animals. Now we take a look at some bears. We do have a couple of bears in our collection. Okay, what do we have right here? This looks like a grizzly bear. And here's another one. Brown bear. We have a... What is this known as? This is, this is probably a, a moon bear. Okay, a moon bear. So we do have another moon bear right here. They look very similar. Okay, maybe not. This is actually a moon bear. And I think this could be a sun bear. Okay, we also have commodi bear right here. So we do have a small collection of different bears. They're definitely expanding. And not forgetting panda bears. We have plenty of panda bears. Plenty of panda carps three right here there are more okay four five six so we have six panda cups right over here and we have more adult ones two more right here this is from Papo sorry it's from Procon which is actually from Collecte and this one if I'm not wrong it should be from Papo gorgeous figure they are all gorgeous Okay, now let's take a look at some wild pigs. So let's take a look at this. This is a warthog and this is a Bobby Rusa. So they are pigs with horns. Very cool. And what about this one? This one is a wild boar. Yeah, warthog, wild boar, and Bobby Rusa. They are all from the pigs family. Okay, next we take a look at some rodents. Okay, wait a minute. We have actually forgotten forgotten this. Oh, this is actually should this is actually it looks like a Wolverine. So this should be in the Australian animals box. So Capybara. Is that our one and only Capybara? I I, I think so. Okay, we, we missed out this one. Pick me hippo. And what about this one? Oh dear. I can't remember the name of this. You know, because some brands such as Papo, they don't have the names written right below, so sometimes it can get a little bit troublesome. We have a black bear cop right here. So we have plenty of different species of bears in our collection. Next, let's head back to the cats and the dogs. Persian cat, beautiful one. This is a bulldog. A bulldog, nice. And this is a phoenix rooster. I can remember this breed this this species of chicken very well because it has a beautiful long tail next we have a schnauzer they are well known for having this beard like fur on both sides of their face very cute and adorable a sheep this is actually from collecte a very old figure from 2006 german shepherd right here Oh, we have a beautiful horse. This can be put in our horse collection, uh, but at this time I've actually put it in the farm animals collection. And here we have a chicken. We have a, a calf. Very, very beautiful. We have two Shiba Inus right here, guys. They are exactly the same. Somehow I got the same figure. And this one, it's a beautiful Hampshire pig. And right here, we have a sow, which is a female pig. We have a couple of them right here. Here's another one. And here we have another one. Yeah, three of them. In fact, we have four of them. Here's another one. The pigs. Pigs are very intelligent. They are as intelligent as dogs or even smarter than dogs. 
and here's a piglet. Okay, this is a Jack Russell Terrier. Apologies for the card, my phone just went off for a while, so hopefully didn't miss much. So, um, yep, I was talking about the pigs, right? So, yep, right here with another one. This is a good luck mini, very cute. And here with like a mini Billy Good, I suppose. This is a, a bull terrier, if I'm not wrong. Okay, some cats right here, Siamese cat. We should have at least two of them. Yeah, we should have two Siamese cat. Not too sure whether I'm able to find the other one. Yep, here's the other one. Two Siamese cat. This one is from Collecte. And this one is from Safari LTD, okay? Nice. And this is a Guernsey cow, which is a very general species of cow. They are used for the milk. Labrador, okay? Very intelligent dogs as well. They are also known as Labrador Retrievers. We have a donkey calf. Oh my goodness, this has got to be one of the cutest, if not the cutest one in the collection. Okay, now we take a look at other wild animals. Giant anteater right here. Very huge, I've seen them in a the zoo. They are extremely big. Artvrak, which is a form, which is um from the rodent family. Okay, Wolverine. Oh, yes, we have another timber wolf, another wolf. Okay, this is a black back jackal. A very cute and adorable rabbit right here from Schleich. So this one would go into this box. And we have a collie puppy. Very adorable. Collies are very intelligent, very playful, very lovely. I love them. Golden Retrievers. I love Golden Retrievers. And this is a Dachon. They are nicknamed like the sausage dog because they are very long and they are very short legs. Very cute. Golden Retriever. Here we have another nanny goat. A ram. Koala shouldn't be in this box, so I need to take it out. I'm gonna put it into the Australian animals collection. And here we have a grey tabby. Her hand. This is a Broxer. Let's try. Right. This seems to be a terrier, Boston Terrier. A wild rabbit, I suppose. Also known as a hare, a duck. I just seen a duck today just now. Very cute. And this is our lemur. Alright. Beautiful lemur. Our one and only lemur in our collection. A cat right here. This is a new chicken. A cockerel sent to us by a dance safarian. Beautiful one. A duck. A white duck. It's the name of this figure. Chicks. Oh, this too. Super adorable. Candidate for the cutest figures in today's video. Shiba Inu's. Shiba Inu's puppy. Here's another one. Super adorable. Jack Russell, Terrier Puppy. Is this a porcupine? I think so. Or is it a hedgehog? Hedgehog. Super cute as well. Okay, this one shouldn't be in in today's video. Okay, here with another. This is an Americana chicken. Okay, I think they're known for laying blue eggs. And this is a Bantam chicken, which is a very small species of chicken. Next, we take a look at red pandas, guys. We have a couple of red pandas. Check this out. This has got to be our nicer, you know, this is one of our nicer one from Safari LTD. Here's another one. This two, I have no idea which brand they came from. But very adorable. Here's another one. So we do have a couple of red pandas. What is this? Is this a raccoon? I don't really know. So if you guys can help me out, that will be fantastic. Sloths. We have two sloths in our collection. 
dock. So just now I actually spotted two docks in my neighborhood. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna upload a shot later on. So make sure you catch it, okay? They're very cute. So make sure you catch my, my shots. Just go on to the channel and click on the shots tab. The latest one should be the docks. Fennec Fox, cute. And here have another chicken. This is the main wolf, which is um, the tallest species of canines. Canines are basically like the, do the dog family. We have a fox right here. Here's another fox. I'm trying to see its name. It doesn't have its name, but beautiful red fox. This is a chinchilla from Collecte. Where's the name of it? It's supposed to have its name. Okay, it's right here on its chest. Chinchilla is right over here. Very cute. A skunk. They can spray a kind of foul liquid to divert your attention. Order. Okay. From Collecte. Our one and only otter in our collection. A mini billy goat and um this is a very cool is this a dog i think so so yep very happy to have added this ram to our collection this wolf and this boxer this other new figure so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and i will see you probably either on wednesday or Friday, okay? So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm trying to take like a nice thumbnail. Don't worry. I'll be putting all of the figures into the respective boxes later on, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.